Novena to Our Lady Queen of Peace In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit The ACN Foundation presents Novena to Our Lady Queen of Peace A moment to pray together with the Blessed Virgin Mary and to present our intentions to her. Welcome. Daily Prayer Veni Creator Spiritus Come, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up your rest. Come with your grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which you have made. O Comforter, To you we cry, O heavenly gift of God Most High, O fount of life and fire of love, and sweet anointing from above, you in your sevenfold gifts are known, you finger of God's hand we own, you promise of the Father, you who do the tongue with power imbue. Kindle our senses from above and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread and grant us your peace instead. So shall we not with you for guide turn from the path of life aside. Oh, may your grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know, and you through endless times confessed of both the eternal Spirit blessed. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from the dead, be glory given with you, O Holy Comforter. Henceforth, by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Day 2. Faith Our Lady, with the extended presence in Medjugorje, intends to awaken the faith of the believers in order to obtain peace and the conversion of men. Our Lady said that in order to have firm faith, dedicating time to prayer and fasting is necessary. She has also said that we should not delve too deeply into problems and concerns, because God always has His gaze on us. Today's rationalistic and materialistic world, with its technological capabilities, has neglected the faith. Our Lady said that the greatest sin of men today is their indifference towards God. And this was expected because indifference to God is the root of all evils that affect humanity. It is worth noting, nonetheless, that the sin of indifference to God is not only one of atheists, but also of many believers those who do not find the value of attending Mass regularly, of fasting, reading the Bible, worshiping Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, committing themselves to the Church. In all this, there is also a visible indifference towards God, a lack of faith. Our Blessed Mother then comes to rekindle Christian life. She invites everyone to give God the first place in their lives. It is in this way that we begin to work for peace. Prayer O God, who have made the Virgin Mary bride of your spirit, the generous helper of the Redeemer, grant us the grace to abide by Christ, your living word so that we may cooperate in the salvation of the world. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Magnificat. 
My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has given help to Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, even as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his prosperity forever. Amen. The content you just listened to is produced by the ACN Pontifical Foundation. Follow us on our social networks to learn about our mission to help our fellow Catholic Christians who suffer need and persecution for their faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.